Welcome back, strategy gamers. We're continuing our old world series with our battle for the fertile crescent. Let's get into the game. So to recap, we're playing Babylon. We're here in the Middle East map and the goal is to beat Assyria and ideally, which will get us the Meadow Babylonian conquest achievement. And then if we beat, if we conquer Assyria and Persia, who will be out over here, we can get the Battle of the Fertile Crescent achievement as well. Our daughter has lost a point of courage. Okay. So, let's continue attacking the Barbarians. They're nearly eliminated. Our city has finished the Settler. We're starting to get money stabilized now. We need to get another military unit over here, and I think we will go for a warrior. Settler down to here it would be good to have got some better visualization. This is a pre-made map. I know there's net resources the gulf here. Get a worker to begin with, then we'll get a treasury online. Patrons of culture in Babylon plan a poetry contest to sing the praises of their remarkable city. They would like their governor, King Nebuchadnezzar the Settler, to participate. What should he do? Plus 40 culture in the capital because it is an artisan city. It's a culture event, so they get culture from culture events. This is the developing culture event for Babylon, the city. So, we can choose to be overcome, overcome the fears and recite the poetry. We gain plus one courage, attend anonymously, gain wisdom, or judge the merits and gain charisma. There is something to be said for increasing our courage and getting our training up. Upgrade here for our slinger, guard, tracker, highlander, or brave. What you want is eagle-eyed for mounted units. We'll take guard and we'll kill this guy. So we have completed the granary. We're able to explore a little more. We found some honey. Our daughter and her husband have given birth to a son, Duke Amarabi. A letter arrives from Duke Sin Mullabilit, describing his classes, hours spent learning, stimulating debates among peers and tutors with the nights spent exploring the heavens. At the end of the letter, a postscript reads, If you could spare the money, I would like to buy some tools for the more advanced aspects of my studies. Shall we indulge our philosophical son? So, we could spend 420 money, he's a chance to become herbalist carpenter educated, carpenter is not great, the other two are pretty good, or we tell him we cannot afford it, he gets frugal, which is pretty good as governor? Yeah, reinforcements aren't coming for six years is the only problem, plus the travel time, I probably, I'm gonna have to withdraw when this extra unit is made. Husbandry next year, so I think I'm gonna move here and skip turn. Going to pass through the Hormoz Mountains. And deer. We took three damage. So we now have husbandry. This is really important. We have lots of resources in our vicinity that can use them. We're going to get the horses online as soon as possible. Now, we are... All these are great technologies. Quick look at... There's the food drama. Polis would be really good to get. So we could go... I think we want to get roads online pretty sharpish. Now, we run the risk of... I think we have to withdraw. Because next turn, two of them will come out. And we won't actually be able to defend ourselves. Pasture. Down to here. And another pasture. We also have pigs and another cattle. The pastures also improve adjacent food farms. Plus 40% improvement to the farms. So, that's going to be quite good. Get, we want to get farms on these. As soon as this is online, we'll get a rancher and we'll culture pop out onto these tiles. And we're going to culture pop off this guy here, maybe, as well. We will build some extra military. We have an event. 
Now that Duke Marduk Nadin Ahai has completed his studies of tactics, how shall he contribute to the court? What role best suits our son? No longer a tactics student, he can either become a tactician or a zealot. I would have preferred commander. So tactician is really good. Counterattack during melee. Zealous, they can't die. We'll take. So Zealot does give plus four courage, so it makes a really good train. Um, whereas tactician's bonuses aren't just kind of militarily focused. I think the ability is better. The counterattack during melee is a better ability, but I'm going to go the maximizing courage here because it has a stacked effect as a general. It it's not just the as you go up in the tactics. It's not a purely linear improvement. We have met the Persians. Shouts from the trees. Our men hurry towards the noise and discover an injured Persian lying in the dirt. His companions work frantically to treat his wounds. According to the men, their caravan was transporting goods to the nearest Persian city, where they were attacked by bandits. They managed to repel the attackers and save their cargo of fine wine. Are you going to give me the wine? Treat their wounds, escort their caravan to destination, plus 20 opinion with Persia. Negotiate in exchange for protection of the goods. We spend training, gain... 400 money or kill the persians take the cargo plus 700 money and minus 20 opinion with the persians we're minus 80 with them currently this will put them to minus 100 to make it much more likely that they attack us they are much stronger than us currently they're at war with the gauls and you can see that they're expanding into this space here so i think i need to get into some of this gaulish land before they take it all healer slinger Educate my younger son. That's the scholar ability. Duke Marduk would sell his own grandmother for two coins. He becomes greedy. Minus two charisma. And our son has more issues. Reports arrive from the academy that your son Duke Sin... Oh, this is the other son. Duke Sin Mulblit shows a willful disregard for his studies and is then becoming known for his flagrant romantic escapades. The academy tutors are growing frustrated, leaving you in a rather delicate situation. How shall we respond? He has become wanton. He can become estranged from us and is no longer a philosophy student if we reprimand him or we pay off his troubles. He is no longer frugal. Estranged is terrible. They're like no effect for you if they're estranged. So you can't. The strange is really bad. There's now a Syrian military unit in Upai. Builder online. Move out and put nets down here. Build the pasture. Put the paper wood. Explore into here. Explore into here. Our daughter is also willing to sell her grandmother for two coins. She is also greedy. For a family that struggled early on with no money, we have become an incredibly money-grubbing family. Duke Sin Moblix has completed his study of philosophy. How shall he contribute to the court? By not wasting our money. He can become a zealot or he can become a judge. So he's an extravagant, wanton boy who's angry with us. So he's not a great governor. So I will pick Zealous so he can become a general. Two years until the warrior's finished. Upai has expanded right down onto this, uh, onto the river. I'm losing the cultural battle here. I need to explore to the west. So there's three Gallic, four Gallic units defending this location. And there's more up here. Okay. We have tutored our wanton son. He gains plus one wisdom. Pretty rounded. Okay, next year we can move out with the warrior. Well, I think we are going to move up. Oh, we're out of wood, so let's get some. All right, harvest the ore. Okay, so this city would have four, possibly horses, second ore, some marble, some salt potentially, depending on how it gets to move and claim, some goats above it. It's a pretty good site. We have research labor force. I don't have the, um, I don't have a need for the food, so I don't think I'll skip that. Polis, I think is the technology we're looking for here to get hamlets. Uh, we have leveled. We can become a carpenter, which is terrible, unless you're on a really naval map or you're Assyria. Uh, we can become warlike, which is really good as a governor, plus two training per year per culture level. So in Babylon, that would be plus four. And as a leader, we'd also add another plus one to all uh, cities per culture level. So this would add six culture, I, uh, sorry, six training to Babylon, plus then another two. So we should go up eight training with 
this click, we end up seven. There's some rounding presumably happening. Warrior is online. We're not going to move all the way. Oh, Persia have already taken. Oh, wow. We're going this way and we're going to add one of our Beckless sons. Okay, so we need to beat Persia to that Gaulet city. Train the rancher. Where's the scout? An entourage of grim ambassadors arrives from Persia. They bring a message of the ruler, Cyrus. He demands we declare war against their enemy, the Gauls. Sure. Babylonia is now at war with the Gauls. I think my scout's fucked. A delegation from Assyria arrives with a marriage proposal for your son, Marduk, the greedy, compassionate, greedy dog owner, Zealot. So they have offered Aditi, the superstitious, Zealot, minus three wisdom, plus four courage. Dari will give us five orders, which is pretty good for the term we're in where we don't have any. Or we can get Kavalier, the schemer, deceitful and humble, five wisdom, minus one courage, minus one discipline. Dari will give us reorders. I'm going to go for her because I think she is a better rounded character. We now have three orders. This, we get the nets here. And we need to get away from the Gauls. Okay, we'll harvest the horses. We're sending two military units towards this camp. The slinger's coming out in a turn. Pyramids have been completed by Egypt. Zorinastrianism, which is founded in Egypt, has legalism. And our son is now, our fourth son is now tough, plus 10% combat strength if damaged let's move here i think we want to basically get farms and all of this because it's going to be amazing it's fresh water is it lush that's lush 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 yeah it's all lush build a farm so we can build granaries farms and forts and we can now get roads which is quite useful let's get the other pasture online we will move our scout i would have liked Oh, we can't move our scout. Our scout is probably dead. So I am going to buy an order so Gauss can uh, try and get away. And possibly just pull the Gauls towards us. And away from their city. Oh, the Persians are already up here. And the Gauls have come out to attack us. We need to get through past them before the Persians take out that settlement. Judaism has been founded in Salamis. And our daughter has given birth to another son. Smack. Step in and hit. Slinger next year. Scout next year. Get the pearls online. That will get me my first luxury. Move over to the ore. Collect some iron. We have met the Scythians. A haughty barbarian warlord strides into court demanding an audience. He declares that the Scythians will permit you to befriend them, but only if you recognize their superiority. I'm not annoying my families. I don't have the two courage, so it's war. You can kill my scout. So I should have done some counterattack damage there. The Scythians have charged out. Our scout is nearly dead. Our scout is still alive. Dead. Patrides have begun work on the Hanging Gardens, and our daughter is now has proven her good sense and gained wisdom. She's our heir, so it's quite important. Oligarch Kash Tilesh, the merchant, comes before you today with a proposal to marry your son, Sin, our fourth son, the tough, extravagant, wanton man-child, to Ishtar Gimlat of Nepur. She is a schemer with four wisdom, one charisma, one courage, a compassionate, spoiled schemer. They seem perfect for each other. Dairy is 40 coin. The Issen family will get plus 10 opinion. 68. The Issen minus 57 with the Kassite. I need to improve my relations with the Kassite. I'll be getting pearls online soon. I can give them to the Issen. So do this. Have you back up one space and heal? Have you come forward and not kill? Not kill. Oh my goodness. What hit points are you on? Two hit points. Okay. Let's get some more units. I need home defense. Two workers. I'm going to get the slinger moving straight out. I need to start getting some vision on the west here. Our son and his new wife have given birth to a son, Ulambarish. These names are becoming increasingly difficult to pronounce. 
and one of the Issens has died, and our grandson is old enough to be tutored. So we are going to do that straight away. If we do it, this just costs two orders, so it's cheap. So there's no cost. We'll do it. We've won a bent. Philosophy. So we'll have this one get the kill. Ranger or Spain or improved charisma. There's a lot of trees to fight through, isn't there? Take the charisma. Okay. Have you heal? Have you step back and add a general? The other feckless son. Follow someone here. I can get hamlets down, which will help us grow our borders and generate some money. Drama, navigation, spoked wheel, redraw for forestry. Or the shrine, we draw for forestry. Like and subscribe for more old world content. We will continue this run in the next video.